everyone welcome back to the channel and episode 8 of squid game so i got a snack and we're just gonna get finish the rest of it because i noticed that the last episode the episode 8 is very it's relatively shorter than the previous ones at only 32 minutes so that means there's only gonna be about 25 minutes of content so we're gonna cut it down by a lot which is why there's gonna be a lot of talking there's only three people left so there's not really much else you can do this episode but just last time, just to give a quick overview before I get into it, because I want to finish the episodes before I have to go to sleep, is that 13 people died last episode, including um, 212 and 101, and they died exactly how I thought they would, with her killing him, just based off of foreshadowing, so that's that, and they did the glass man dirty, I feel like he, even if it was boring, he, he used his skills, dude. He, he could have made it out, and he'd easily been fourth place, but they wanted the three main characters to be the top three, so that's why they did that. And, yeah, so three people left. Um, I'm expecting 67 to die this episode, and then 218 and 456 will survive to the next episode. But the last game is going to be the Squid Game, because you could tell based off all the logos behind everybody's beds, what the games are. And the next one is going to be the actual Squid Game that I played in the first episode. I bet you... I bet me and you can't really remember the rules, but that's going to be what happens. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. I'm excited to see what they, how they play this out. Alright, so that's the end of episode 8. So, one more episode left. And I didn't, like I said during the episode, I didn't expect her to die like that, but... She ended up dying... I just thought she would at least make it to one of the games, but she's done a blood loss, and I think it's just utter bullshit that she got hurt by the way that they ended the game, and she was one of the winners, and the way they ended it was the one, was the thing that injured her so much, and they're all about the fairness of the game, but for the past two times, they just completely fucked up the fairness, like with the glass dude and with her. It's like, fuck off. If you're going to make rules, follow those rules and not just make them stupid whenever you feel like it like arbitrary it's like you're supposed to be some big shady organization follow the rules that you set but either way just kind of annoying so two left 46 and 218 which i called from the beginning i knew she was gonna get third place like i said previously i thought 199 was gonna get fourth place because they would have made it sadder for 199 to be fourth but i guess they did it kind of in a way for set up 218 as the main bad guy which i thought was gonna happen as well because at this point, 218 is killed like eight or nine people, and he's killed two main characters so far. Like, he's killed a lot, so. So, and the detective is definitely alive, there's no doubt about it, because he got shot right above, right, right above his heart. So, it wasn't a kill shot, it was like right in this little nick right here, and then he fell off, and he immediately hit the water, so. He's definitely not dead. Um, front mask, we know it's his brother for sure, which I called pretty much by the like the third episode or so based off extra context clues so that was easy enough detective brother and then the host they showed briefly but we don't actually know who it is like the dude in the gold like elk mask or whatever i feel like they're and then they didn't show any of the vips this time so i guess they didn't weren't reacting very much so maybe we don't we won't see the vips anymore it was a short episode this time because of the way they did it because they can't stretch it out anymore because that would just be stupid. So the next one's probably going to be like another 30-minute episode, probably. He promised to take care of 67's family, but he didn't get any extra information. Like, he has no idea what children's home the family's at. Maybe um, when the detective, detective survives, right? Definitely. No doubt about it. That he's going to team up with 456 and that they're going to find um, 67's family. And then they're going to, you know, protect him for that. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna get their her, her mom out of China or, um, but hopefully that we'll see more of that. So let's just get right into the finale because not much time left before it's sleepy time, and I just wanted to finish off the series while we can because I'm excited to see the finale now. I feel like this series is overhyped at this point. Like, it's not as, like, it's well done, but it's not as, pretty much everything is very guessable. Like, it's very obvious what will happen, you know? Just, and there's so many other survival stories like this as well. Like, even on Netflix. We'll just end it the next one. So, 
for without further ado, let's just go to the finale. I'll see you there. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to support me, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content from me. And also leave a comment down below on what you think I should react to next. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so and you'll get early access to videos. There's also will be polls so you can vote on what you think I should react to next. And also if a video ever gets blocked or there's an active community strike against it, I'll take it down off of YouTube. And I'll put it on Patreon and I'll link it to my daily motion over there with the same channel name as the one I have currently. So time to stand. So just look it up and you can see all the videos over there. So right now, Squid Game is purposely on Daily Motion, and there's a two gig um, maximum. So it's basically chopped up into a bunch of parts. But I made a playlist with it, and so you can find the links all to that in my Patreon. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.